With social media and technology, cyberbullying has become the go-to method of bullying and making teen lives a misery. Just how bad can cyberbullying get? How does it happen? What can teens feel? To get a full understanding of this type of bullying, you need to hear and read the horror stories. Ashlyn Connor. 10-year-old Ashlyn Connor was bullied so much that she begged her mom to homeschool her. She wanted an escape from the horrible children at school, but her mom refused. The bullying continued at home through social media. Ashlyn was called fat and ugly at first, and then it turned into people calling her a slut long before she even understood the meaning of the word. When she had her hair cut because she wanted to feel good about herself, the name calling changed to Pretty Boy. This isn't just a story of cyberbullying, but the ending. Ashlyn's sister was the one to find her hanging in her closet by a scarf. The horror and devastation that would have left her sister is immense. Megan Meyer. This horror story is a case of child depression made worse because of cyberbullying. Megan had suffered from severe depression from the age of eight and was already taking antipsychotics and antidepressants. While they helped slightly, she still suffered from her mental illness. A female neighbor set up a MySpace account and pretended to be a male to tease Megan. At first, Megan found herself attached to this Josh Evans, but he later turned on her and started discussing some rumors he'd heard. At first, it all started private, but then he started sharing their private messages and went public with a declaration that the world would be better without her. Megan, already susceptible to depression, believed that comment. After telling him that you're the kind of boy a girl would kill herself over, she took her own life in her bedroom. She was just 13 years old. Kenneth Wyshoon. It's not only girls that suffer from cyberbullying. While most horror stories involve girls, there are many young boys who have to deal with the torment and horrible words. Kenneth Wyshoon was one of these boys who was bullied because of his sexual orientation. Being gay is hard as a teen without the bullying, but it's worse when your classmates create an anti-gay Facebook group and make death threats over the phone. This wasn't just from enemies or people he barely knew. After he came out, his own friends joined in with tormenting him, or they would play ignorance and never step up for their friend. Kenneth was continually harassed in school and online and eventually killed himself. He was just 14 years old. Cyberbullying happens in many forms. It can start in school and continue online, meaning children have no escape. In other cases, the bullying originates from strangers online and becomes relentless. Whether children have a history of depression or not, cyberbullying takes a toll. There's no escaping and teens struggle with coping. Even with friends, they find it hard to deal with. These horror stories show how cyberbullying affects teens. It's very real and very dangerous. You can help prevent your children from becoming another horror story by helping to keep them as safe as possible from the vile creatures online. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. Do your part in spreading the message by sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And be sure to visit our site to learn how to help keep your children safe.